This hands-on lab will cover augmented data preparation in Oracle Analytics Cloud. The easiest way to load data into OAC is to simply drag it and drop the file into the home page. So you can drag the file into the home page anywhere and OAC will then upload that file, give you a summary of the data. Then we can open up this data set within visualize mode. In order to take advantage of the augmented data preparation, we need to move into the prepare mode within OAC. And on selecting that mode, we see a list of recommendations on the right hand side. The profile in the data, OAC is able to make intelligent recommendations for each of the columns in the data set. For example, here we have some social security data and OAC is suggesting because that may be sensitive, security sensitive, you may wish to obfuscate some of the characters or even remove the column from the data set entirely. We also have recommendations in this case for zip code. So these can greatly enhance any geographic, uh, geospatial type visualization. So we could add city information, we could add population, we could add county information. So rather than the analysts having to go off and find this information from other places, OAC can add it at this stage of the, uh, the workflow. We also have some suggestions for text-based columns, such as concatenation of columns. Here, the example is concatenating first name and last name. And for the data type column of type date, we have a number of suggestions for extracting date related information, such as day of the week, day of the month, quarter, those kind of extractions can make life a lot easier and make the analysts life a lot more uh, productive as well, instead of having to work out how to derive this information from, from the raw data set. So what we have been doing is building up a preparation script that can be used against the entire data set. And you can see that on the left hand side. Let's apply that script to, uh, to the data that's been uploaded. In the prepare section of Oracle Analytics, note on the bottom left hand side on the properties area, we can see the, the different properties that can be set for each of the columns in the data set. So let's just kind of scroll through those just to get an idea of what can be changed at this point in the workflow. Some typical things that you may want to change would be the, the data type or the aggregation type for example, for, for metrics. You can also view a different type of summary of the data set uh, known as formatted metadata. And this gives you a bit more information about what the underlying data types are with uh, sample values of the data there you can see on the right hand side. Now the data diagram is useful if you're working with multiple data sets in a project. So if you may have joins between those, those data sets. So let's navigate now to the visualize area to create a, a visual analysis on that data set that we just imported. So we're gonna first of all create a top 100 based on sales expression filter. So any items that we add over to the canvas will have this expression filter automatically applied to them. give that a, a meaningful name, we can also validate that calculation. So let's look at the top 100 customers uh, using the first name, last name that we prepared an, earlier on in the hands-on lab. Uh, also drag over sales so that we can now see 
who are our top 100 customers based on sales. Uh, we could change this visualization to a tabular format to make it a little bit easier to read the names and the, the sales associated with those customers. And we can also change the order very easily within the, the rows section there. Uh, so sorting the sales, we can sort it, in this case, high to low. There you go. All right, so let's add some geospatial analysis. Uh, so let's find our map view of the sales. So create a new visualization, and then we can drag over the, the zip code for each of those customers. For now, we're seeing how spread out around this map of the United States our customers are. And as we saw earlier, this is our top 100 customers. But we may want to, to view this information by state. So if we go back into the prepare tab, we can then augment this data with state. Again, apply that script to the data set and once that's completed, we will navigate back to the visualize part of the product and change the information for a city with, with state. And here we can actually see a perhaps more useful view of where our top customers are. So you can see there in um, that particular state, we have a much darker color representing our best customers. That concludes this hands-on lab.